Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's Steve. Boss react to this bit by our Chronicle Speaks. It's titled, Wendy Williams Breaks Silence on Drama. It's about time. Okay, um, a lot of stuff has been occurring lately, and people have been like, oh, I wish Wendy was still doing her hot topics. I want to hear her take on the whole Diddy situation and this, this, and that. Uh, so, apparently, she has spoken up recently about how she feels about uh, the the nonsense that's taking place. I don't know if she's in her right state of mind or not. No shade, but I don't know what her current condition is. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're gonna see what she has to say. Let's watch. Look out to you. I heard you was looking for me. <laughs> it takes a story like Diddy to that's bring funny. the queen back on her throne. Child, I can't deal. The Daily Mail is reporting exclusive Wendy Williams breaks silence break on side. Diddy's sex trafficking investigation years mm. after she was criticized for speaking out against the disgraced rapper. I thought this was oh, the National Enquirer in the at first. I really had to investigate to oh, make sure that this was something that Wendy indeed said. But not only is the Daily Daily Mail reporting it, E! News is reporting it as well. See, what we aren't going to do is count out Auntie. They tried to make it seem like Wendy was in the bed, child couldn't move, couldn't talk. Yes, she I, said, I didn't know her Wendy. current Wendy condition. is very alert and she knows what's going on in the world, but let's get into it. We've Bless all been heart. saying how crazy Hot Topics would be if Wendy would be able to take to that purple couch and talk about what's been going on with the diddler. Well, wait no longer. We are going to get into it today, but before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this story and so much more. Now let's get back into it. Now Diddy has officially broken the internet. Even Chronicles is out making videos daily, which you know I don't do. Now we have 120 new victims. 25 of them were minors. One was a nine-year-old boy. Oh no. I knew it. I right said now. it. I said but kids one person come that never wavered about how they felt about the dealer was definitely Wendy. When she found out that he had been around her son, she was like, hold on, wait a minute, what? Uh, uh. Wendy Scott is stuttering. Um, as the mother of a now 16 year old. Who, who I met backstage, who is, is, is He did? He's a great, great young man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you. You represent a lot. Wendy was thinking to herself, where is Big Kev and why was this man led around my child? Because Wendy already knew it was some crazy stuff going on with Diddy. So we are going yeah, to get into all of the right things there. that Wendy has said about Diddy. But before we do, let's talk about this current article by the Daily Mail, who is a really trusted source when it comes to Wendy news. Wendy Williams has spoken out in the wake of Sean Diddy Combs arrest, claiming it was about oh, time about the time. disgraced rapper was investigated. Harold mm -hmm. for decades as rap royalty, Combs is currently awaiting trial at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center in New York City on charges of sex trafficking, no, racketeering, and time. transportation to engage in prostitution. About goddamn now, time. Williams, who is currently 60, had always been openly critical of the disgraced music mogul, who was 54 clip, throughout her say. career, but was unsurprisingly relieved to learn that he is being investigated. Now, this is what Wendy is saying. What is really weird is that I have been told by so many people, Wendy, you called it, she told the DailyMail.com exclusively, including some people from my family who have said the same. The popular TV host who said she was doing good in the wake of her aphasia diagnosis good. and health concerns said she was horrified of the video of Combs abusing his then-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in the hotel lobby. Baby, I don't know who is in that facility giving Wendy the tea, telling her what's going on on the outside world because we know sis was never good with a Cell phone. But talking news and gossip has always been her life, so I would love to be a fly on the wall and hear from her what she had to say about everything that's going on. So when he goes on to say, you know how I feel about that? It's about time, she said, to see this video on TV of Cassie getting pummeled. It was just horrific. But now you have to think how many more times how many people, how many more women? It's just so horrible. Wendy had a lot to say about everything going on with Diddy, but she has had her own bouts with Diddy as well. The whole thing was Diddy was gay since the 90s. She knew, dog. That's how Wendy was we doing that out there. Apology. That's why Wendy got fired from I-97. Wendy got fired from I-97 by Diddy because that's when Bad Boy was smoking hot. Oh, wow. And um, yeah, name. she got fired for putting that out there. Like, Do you think Puff got one of the hottest DJs off of Hot 97? Because she wanted to put up a picture of him getting his pants pulled down. There was a Ooh. radio personality once upon a time. Her name was Wendy Williams. And uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. 
and now it's all come full circle. Mm. And she uh, allegedly has been avoiding Puffy. And, um, you know, my thing about when you date a mogul is that it's really difficult to avoid them because if you use know. your head, you never know when they're going to pop up on the scene. Like, he's mogul. Like, he can hire a plane right now. Zoom it to South Africa. <laughs> land on the, on the roof of the hotel where she's staying. Not the roof. <laughs> okay. Pay people off the front desk. Give me the key and let me up in her room. Mm. Like, I'd be, I'm already paranoid as a person. Oh, but to know that somebody could actually swoop down on me in the middle of nothing. Well, y'all have bad blood for a while. Real yeah. bad. Real bad blood. The worst blood. The worst blood. Mm. You almost you wanted to run you out of New York at one point, right? Run? Well, right. not run. You know, Why like, push show? you out of New York. Yeah. Oh, he no, was, I guess it was oh, so many years. Did you give him full credit for that? You get, okay, cool. Over the years, oh. Wendy has been trying to tell people about the dealer, and people did not want to mm. hear it. They had a full circle moment on Wendy's show. He said, Wendy, you can ask me anything. They hugged it out, but I believe Wendy still knew what kind of man he was, and Wendy did not even feel comfortable with having this man yeah, around her child. Thing. Let's just say Wendy knew the devil within Diddy. What I need to do is hear from you. What do you think about I'm glad she gave us some receipts and showed some clips of when Wendy was calling this out. I didn't know that she was, you know, making these comments about Diddy over the years and that he had her fired. That's wild. And maybe, you know, she had him on the show because, yeah, they, they made up because it was so many years later. But I would have still been like, nah, I smoke. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You got me fired because you didn't like what I was saying. You didn't like me speaking the truth. Nah, but yes, very interesting. I definitely didn't know this because I never watched Wendy Williams. I honestly started seeing these clips when I started reacting to these videos that y'all told me to react to. I never, ever watched Wendy Williams, like not one episode. <laughs> I just was never into like daytime TV and like gossipy uh, shows and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is the first time I'm, I'm hearing about it. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.